Hi everyone, I'm Crystal Lowen and welcome to Masterclass BC. There's this little piano store and school up on the third floor of the Aberdeen Centre in Richmond, BC called Showcase Pianos. Their students and teachers have been performing all over Vancouver, all over the news and in major competitions. And the Fazioli pianos they sell are completely made by hand in Italy and can cost up to half a million dollars. The owner, Manuel Bernischek, is also one of the nicest, coolest guys we've met, and he offered to take us on a tour of the showroom and school and introduced us to the beautiful concert pianist, Evgenia Robinovich, who's going to show us her epic skills on one of these pianos. Hi, Manuel. Thanks for having me here as a guest. It's really nice to see your new space. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous space. Um, so how did it all start out? Did you have a piano show from when you started in school? Like, how did you get the idea to get everything going with that skill? Uh, well, basically, we started uh, about four and a half years ago at a different location and we always knew from the beginning that it would be really good to have a, a piano school together with a piano school. You know, like, uh, uh, but our first location was so tiny that we couldn't fit anything into there. Um, and the, the way we started the, the store, like basically I used to work for a different store and we all started hearing about these uh, Fetzioli pianos and everybody was talking about that, how they're the most amazing pianos in the world. And, uh, and I started doing research on it, and I, I found that anybody who had ever played one said that they were the most fantastic pianos anybody had, had, uh, had ever touched. What is so special about the way they're made? I know there's lots of details that go into the making of one of these pianos. Mr. Fazioli, uh, he's an engineer and also a pianist, and uh, uh, he wanted to make a piano with his own sound. In, in the beginning, like I've read in some of the books, it says, that, uh, that he was, he believed he could make a, a better piano than, than what was currently in existence. And uh, it's amazing that he had that idea, that he, he wanted to achieve it, and that he was able, that he's been able to achieve it so well. So, uh, in general, uh, many uh, high-end, uh, you know, top-class pianos take about a year to make. Fetzioli's take almost three years of man hours to make. Yeah, just for one. So, but I mean, they, it's uh, that's the number of man hours. So when you divide it up with the, the forty workers working in the factory, you can probably get one in uh, one, two, four, and six months in general. And uh, the soundboard wood is very special. It comes from the, the same forest in Italy where Stradivarius got his wood for his violins. And uh, basically, they've taken every aspect of the piano and tried to push it to the maximum or the best, uh, the best possible. So. Areas of, of touch and tone, and then the quality of the work, uh, of the workmanship, and the quality of the materials used. Every aspect is done to perfection. So my wife and I decided to open up our, our shop. We hope to sell two or three in our first year. And, uh, we've now been open four and a half years, and uh, we just sold our forty-third one. So we're one of the, uh, the important market for Fazioli pianos. So uh, in our store we have, we represent five different brands of pianos. Uh, they're all in, in different categories and in different price ranges and uh, uh, all five brands are European. So it starts with uh, the W. Hoffmans and it goes up to the Beckstein Academies. Uh, then it goes to the Grotrian uh, brand. Everything inside this room is made by hand and uh, they rate higher than, uh, you know, just as a reference point, they the piano book. Are all rated higher than Steinway, uh, than the New York Steinways. Then we have a C. Bagstein here, uh, completely made by hand in Germany. They're a very incredible brand. And we have the Fazioli, which uh, uh, I believe is the creme de la creme, completely made by hand in Italy. Uh, in, in any case, it's uh, 7 foot 6 Fazioli and the 7 foot 7 uh, C. Bagstein are two of the best pianos in the city. Uh, basically, they start at about ninety thousand or so for the tiny uh, baby grand, five foot two. Like if you're buying a grand piano, usually you want something six foot or more. Yeah, the full deal. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> and um, and so I never ordered one of them until more recently when I actually tried one, and I couldn't believe it. like that the five foot two Fetzioli actually sounds like a piano that's much bigger. I mean, because they're they're quite powerful pianos, but you have a tremendous control uh, to even play very light. 
and it goes up to about two hundred and fifty thousand or so for the uh, uh, for the regular black ones and the concert size. And uh, then if you start changing the finish, you know, to the different woods or or the outside of the piano, like like the one we have here, it can go up to half a million dollars. My my personal favorite is that seven foot six uh, Fetzioli. Uh, it's uh, it's just such a dream. So just uh, more of an, an introduction for the rest, uh, rest of the store. So here we have the, the Bechstein Academy pianos, which are also made in Germany. And then we have the W. Hoffmans, which is made by Bechstein in their factory in the Czech Republic. Uh, they're, they're actually rated higher than Yamahas from Japan, and they're around the same price, so we sell a lot of them. Uh, they're, they're very good, beautiful in that color and the sound. On this side here, we have the school. Definitely nicer pianos than you get in, in home studios. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's for sure. But, but a grand, this is an old grand uh, from uh, from the Wedgwood Hotel. <laughs> but it's uh, they they had used it so long, like there's almost uh, nothing we can do with this piano anymore. So it might be going to a movie uh, studio very soon uh, to be used in the movie. It's a prop. Yeah, it's a prop. Um, so to a lot of your students. Um, um, children generally don't know because yeah. they're so little. Very few of them will decide to be performers, but um, we try to nurture them, we give them the opportunities, we provide them the best that we can help them with. Mm -hmm. Good teachers, good knowledge, good equipment, good um, studios, or performance opportunities, they go to recitals. We try to give them the opportunity without giving them pressure. They have to like it first in order to achieve what they want to achieve. Uh, all, all the classrooms have W. Hoffman pianos, uh, at, at the very least, and then it goes up uh, from there. Uh, all the, the rooms are completely soundproofed, and uh, this is the, the type of drywall where they take nine layers of drywall and put it into one. It's like, it was really expensive to do. Um, the other hard part is, uh, for many schools, is the, trans the, the way the sound transfers through the ventilation system. So all of our ventilation system is completely soundproof. You can't hear anything through that ventilation system. So we have a, this is a, our theory room, which also doubles as our lunch room. We're going to be putting a piano in the corner there, but we haven't done that yet. One of your uh, teachers is a finalist in the women's competition, right? Now, right. right? And that's pretty huge international piano yes. competition. Um, all over the world. We have teachers who actually, uh, Dr. Sasha, he is from, he used to live in Vancouver and he, uh, a couple 
couple years ago moved to Seattle and he's also coming uh, once a month to give us this master class. So we have teachers from everywhere. We have uh, Bogdan Du, he is a doctor in UBC right now, uh, doing his uh, EMA program and he is from Romania. He won a lot of national, international competitions. So, so every teacher has their own backgrounds. Yeah. And lots of performing experience too. Right. Alright, so this is our group classroom over here. It's also a soundproof, it's a, it's a lot bigger. We sometimes use this room for master classes uh, because we can put the, the chairs in the theater style and we can roll outside of these pianos. So here we do the MYC, the Music for Young Children program, which is a Canadian uh, program. Very good, we, we really like it. And uh, yeah, the kids sit on the floor here, then they go to the pianos at the end of the class. Uh, throughout our store, we only have three or four pieces right now, but we have this art by uh, Mike Solomon, and uh, this is all uh, art that's music related. He's working on some really incredible pieces. Uh, you might see some of the other pieces outside. This one's fifteen thousand dollars, and then we have uh, some of the other ones outside are about five thousand dollars each. Uh, they're all originals, uh, one one ups. Yeah. So each one's a little bit different, but uh, somehow related with music and art and uh, pianos. And, uh, we're looking forward to the next ones he's making. He's got a few on the go right now. Uh, we do have a little secret room over here. I'm going to show you. So this is uh, where our uh, uh, coffee machine is, the <laughs> espresso machine, and then we have the, uh, the wine cooler, but it doesn't have any wine in it right now. But, uh, we can celebrate when somebody wants to see it. <laughs> yeah. Very so, good. Yeah, if you want to transfer it. We wanted to make the finest piano store we could possibly make. So we got some excellent teachers, uh, like our artistic director, Sasha Starcevich, uh, a very, very well-known teacher, super nice guy, and uh, he really cares for the students. And that, I believe, is a great key uh, to, uh, to his success and in, in connection uh, to our success is uh, how much the, the, the teachers care for the students and really makes yeah. a difference to them.
there's no way I'm going to be able to tell the difference between you know, high definition television and the regular stuff. But when I saw it, then, I mean, then it's hard to go back to your old yeah, TV. Right? So I think it's the same with the fence scene. It's just like piano, but you know, high def. You know? and I think people come in very skeptical of it, and then they think there's no way this could be that much better. And to see them completely change their, you know, their, their mood or, or their see their negativity go away once they start playing, it's really amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh.